Was a community physician, the discussion of hydroxyurea and interferon, specifically for the therapy of polycythemia vera, is, is always a tension. You know, I, I'd like to have a, a thorough discussion with patients. There's really pluses and minuses to each therapy. Hydroxyurea's main advantages are that it's relatively simple. It's a pill. It's very well characterized, and it's relatively inexpensive. And patients can tolerate it well, although certainly there are exceptions in terms of nausea, hair loss, can increase the risk of skin cancers, and others. Interferons increasingly have strong data, more and more so building each day, that they may help to delay progression in the disease, in addition to controlling counts and decreasing that vascular risk, which really may provide an advantage over the use of hydroxyurea. So when I think about that switch for people that are on hydroxyurea, one, are they not tolerating hydroxyurea? They need a, a different agent. Uh, if they're not tolerating it because of progression with spleen and symptoms, I will think a bit about ruxolitinib. But for most individuals, if they're just not tolerating it, they don't have a great response. You know, a long-acting interferon such as ropegylate interferon alpha-2b makes good sense. Now the second, and this is the important one, is to try to delay progression of the disease. And that's a discussion I have. And again, I sit with someone who's 38 or 45, or again, really is looking at kind of a long-term strategy in terms of their long-term health and survival. More and more there's data that not only that interferon helps to decrease the allele burden, but probably helps to delay disease progression. So I think the younger a patient is, the more attractive that option becomes. And I think in the current era, that can be an indication in and of itself. In addition to the aggregate of all the other things, needing too many phlebotomies, not tolerating hydroxyurea, not tolerating phlebotomies, you know, on and on as we pull these things together.